Welcome back my viewers and my subscribers. If it's the first time to the channel, please don't leave without not subscribing. Please remember to like the video also. Remember that you're not liking the content, it's just a way YouTube uses to suggest it in this algorithm. Now with all of that said, all of that done, let me jump into the intro. Welcome back my viewers, big up on the safe seat. So right now my viewers and my subscriber right now we have so much to be a proud of today, yo. May I tell you the truth, yo, it's just unbelievable. You understand me? It is real. It is real, my viewers and my subscribers right now. The Jamaican girls and make me so proud right now. So right now, today, we have so much to be a proud of, so much to be celebrating, my viewers and my subscribers. Right now, the Sunshine Girls, them over there in Cape Town, my viewers and my subscribers right now, they are advancing to the semi-final right now my people right now they win their match against Trinidad and Tobago in the woman netball you understand me say and right now my viewers and my subscribers for the first time in history the reggae girls a Caribbean side have advanced to the knockout stage it's what I say my viewers and my subscribers and when we say this it's the first time overall for a Caribbean team, English speaking Caribbean team of any sort to advance in the knockout stage of the World Cup, whether I want to be female or male. The regular girls have done it, my viewers and subscribers, after limited support from the Jamaica Football Federation. Parents have to turn to the crowdfunding site, GoFundMe, my viewers and subscribers, to help the regular girls to get where they are. So right now, I just want to say hats off to the reggae girls and hope them continue on the same path and continue to make us proud as Jamaican. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, in the news and the details right now, the police are saying one of Westmoreland's most wanted gunmen was shot and killed during a confrontation with cops in Burn Savannah, Lakova, St. Elizabeth, this morning. He has been identified as Nicholas Ruben, otherwise called Eva. The police say a barita pistol and five 9mm rounds was taken from him. My viewers and subscribers, meanwhile, head of the St. Elizabeth Police, Acting Superintendent Carl Richmond, to say the police are keeping a close watch on several persons who have been charged for serious offences and have given residential address in the parish to the courts. A Jamaican born judge, Tanya Sue Shokkan, is set to preside over the latest case against former United States President Donald Trump. Trump was indicted on Tuesday for a third time for allegedly attempting to overturn the 2020 presidential election. Born in Kingston, July 1962, Shotkin pursued her education at George Washington University, earning a Bachelor of Arts degree. Shotkan was also a dancer with the National Dance Theatre Company of Jamaica, NDTC. If you are my subscriber, just go and big up yourself, continue to like our video, continue to share. I'm out.